Binions. My Vegas. Win. Four Queens. Long ago, all the casino apps worked. Then, everything changed when the VIP points attacked. Only Ace of Vegas, the Dark Knight of Domino City, could fix this. But when his followers tweeted him, he said, Eh, I'll do it Saturday. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're all doing well. So as many of you are well aware, this last Thursday, many of you were met with this announcement when you updated your WinSlots app. An announcement that shook the WinSlots community to its core. It was an announcement about new rewards that brought joy. A joy that was quickly silenced, and then it was followed by a new requirement. And that requirement? was a VIP level. Now, VIP levels are nothing new to the casino gaming industry. Real casinos have different players club cards with different tiers that offer different benefits, and most slot games have similar systems. My Vegas slots and Binions both have VIP levels, and it was just time for win slots to get in on that action. But unlike My Vegas and Binions, win VIP levels decided what type of rewards you could redeem. Let's explain what a win VIP level is. The Win VIP Point system is a new system that allows you to power up your account and allows you access to additional comps and benefits. You're able to earn these new VIP points in addition to the gems by playing the game. There are three distinct ways to earn a VIP point. The first way is to collect a daily reward. Now in this instance, daily rewards are the bonus chests that you find in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Each time you collect one, you'll earn a set amount of VIPs, as well as your normal coin yield. The values are as follows. Silver chests are worth no VIPs. Gold chests that occur once every 3 hours are worth 5 VIPs. And wheel spins that occur once every 12 hours are worth 15 VIPs. The second way to earn VIP points is to finish scratcher quests. Now I've gone over scratcher hunting in two of our recent win slots videos and I encourage you to check them out for more details. But a scratcher is a special in-game challenge that requires you to meet certain conditions and it will reward you with a random bonus of chips that allow you to keep playing. A collection of four to six of these is called an event. Depending on the difficulty of finishing the individual scratchers, you'll be rewarded with a final scratcher. Finishing a gold scratcher event nets you nine VIPs, and finishing a platinum scratcher nets you an even 25 VIPs. The third and final way, at least for now, to earn VIPs is through purchasing chips. There are two places you can purchase chips, either the store or your piggy bank. No matter where you purchase chips, the value of the VIPs are all the same. You get one VIP point for every penny you spend. So spending $5 on a purchase nets you 500 VIP points. Seems simple enough, I'm sure. But what do you do with these new VIP points? Well, depending on how many VIP points you earn in a certain amount of time, you'll be assigned a VIP level. And depending on your VIP level, you earn different benefits. Level 0 is natural and has no point requirement. You have 90 days from starting to earn 2,500 VIP points to ascend to level 1. Level 1 requires a minimum of 2,500 points to be earned in the first 90 90 days that you achieve it to maintain that level. Level 1 benefits are the ability to get a free buffet at the Wynn Hotel and Casino, one of the top rated Vegas buffets according to a certain video that I had to postpone to make this one. To improve your benefits after you achieve level 1, you'll have 90 days to reach 10,000 VIPs. From there, you move on to level 2. Level 2 is where things get better. Those 10,000 VIPs earn you the level 2 status for 90 days. In addition to the level 1 benefits, you get the ability to book free rooms with no resort fee at Win Las Vegas. If you can push your VIPs to 20,000 in 90 more days, you'll make level 3. VIP level 3 benefits are the same as the first two, with the addition of a gem discount on room bookings of 15%. Meaning if a room is 3,000 gems for a level 2 player, you as a level 3 player get it for 450 gems cheaper. If you can make 40,000 VIPs in 90 more days, you'll make it to VIP level 4. This gives you all the benefits of level 2 players, but upgrades the gem discount from 15% to 20% on room bookings, meaning a 4,000 gem room is now 3,200 gems. And if you can somehow get your VIP point total up over 75,000 within 90 days of achieving level 4, you'll be rewarded with the coveted level 5 status. Level 5 status grants you buffets, room booking, and a 25% gem discount on your comped rooms, 
meaning a 4,000 gem room for a level 2 player is only 3,000 gems for you. There are a few other new features that came with the update, one being the new Bingo Ball feature. Now the Bingo Ball feature is like a mini tournament. It's a small event that occurs once every 10 minutes and gets triggered when you play a game, whether you're spending normally or using hyper bonus modes. Every few million chips that you wager will earn you a bingo ball. You can click the card and run those bingo balls through to see if they match. If you don't get a bingo before the 10 minute time limit is up, they expire and your game continues as normal. If you do, you'll be rewarded with a silver, gold, or platinum scratcher. It's overall pretty inconsequential and doesn't affect the VIP points, so it's not a feature I would worry about too much. Another big change is in rewards. Before, you could only redeem gems for a free stay at the win in a basic room which at the win is still pretty top notch. And those are free rooms that can average $200 per night for a stay before factoring in resort fees. So a free stay was a pretty great reason to play the game. Now that the update is on the table, there's a larger catalog of rewards. Once the update is finalized, the Winslots app will now offer complimentary buffet passes, complimentary deluxe king rooms, and complimentary double queen rooms, giving you a few more options to spend the spoils of the Hongbao Hyper Bonus on. So there's a lot of questions that came with this update, and I have the answers to them here. First question, if I'm level 0 or 1 and have enough gems for a room, can I book it? The answer to that is no. You cannot book a new room under the new rules. A common follow-up to that is, what happens if I've already booked a room reservation before the new VIP program? Well, good news, your reservation will still be honored. Just don't cancel it, otherwise you won't be able to rebook until you meet the level 2 VIP requirements. Question 3. What if I'm a new win slots player? Well, you'll be starting VIP level 0, so you better get spinning. What if I'm a returning win slots player? Well, there are two types of returning win slots players, free to play types and freemium types. Free to play types are players that spin, but haven't put any money into the game. They've been granted 30 days grace to either maintain level one status or move up to level two. This also applies to accounts who have spent less than $25 in-game on chips. For players that have spent $25 or more, you'll be automatically set to levels 2, 3, 4, or 5 depending on your purchase amounts. Then you'll have to maintain those levels like any other player after the 30-day grace period. And of course, the final question, should I quit playing win slots? And I think that's a complicated question. Recently, the game has gotten a lot of press, mainly from other Vegas tubers. In addition to this channel, the game has been featured prominently on Chubby in a Way, Say Hi to Matthew, Not Leaving Las Vegas, and The Comp Sky. Until recently, the reviews have been pretty positive. Personally, I ranked Winslots as the fourth best real ward casino game of all time because of its incredible value and simplicity. But with the big change, some folks have changed their tune. I've seen some negative reviews on the App Store in groups and even on Not Leaving Las Vegas. Some of them are going as far as boycotting the app, and I honestly think that's up to you. Steven from Not Leaving Las Vegas is one of my favorite Vegas tubers. I highly recommend his channel. In fact, I'll leave a link to him in the description box below. He does a lot of fun local Vegas vlogs in addition to taking care of the touristy side of Vegas too, and he's a cool, down-to-earth sort of guy. Don't forget to go check him out. His advice currently is to leave Winslot's feedback in the App Store. He's been seeing a lot of negative feedback for Winslots and doesn't care for the new rules himself, so he's certainly helping the boycott Winslots hashtag gather steam. And honestly, I can't blame him. Personally, as you guys know, I fancy myself as the game king, and I see this as a challenge. We've discovered how to beat games like My Vegas Slots and My Vegas Blackjack in the past, and I think we can do it again. And my luck hasn't been so bad so far. After less than a day with the app, I've already earned 107 VIP points. I doubt my play strategy will change much. I already pop in for about a minute or two every three hours to collect a bonus, meaning I'll get about five gold chests and two wheel spins over the course of 12 hours, which adds up to 55 VIP points without spinning a single reel. I usually also do about two platinum scratchers and one gold scratcher depending on the day, giving me another average of 59 VIP points per day. Given that most scratchers only require an average of 15 minutes of my attention, I'll probably be able to earn up to 114 points over the course of a day within about an hour's worth of my active time. And most of that will be me setting the game to 500 auto spends and going back to work, my family, or beer with friends. Granted, I won't be able to benefit as quickly as I normally would have with strategies, but I'm not worried about reaching 10,000 VIPs in 90 days. Alright guys, that's all the time we have for today. I do hope today's guide was informative. 
If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you think you'd like to hear from me again. Now, I'm not really happy that Wynn decided to pull the rug out from under us and change the rules in the middle of the game, but I do relish the challenge that it represents. Breaking the game, doing the math, beating the system, these are things I live for. But what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, wishing you all strong hands and happy spinning. Thank you.